Thank you, viewers. I am Tutor Kelty Sokoli. In our math class today, we shall be solving a limited mathematics question. And the question is given to us as written on the board that if x to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 243, then that we should find the value of x. We dive in. Kindly watch the video to the end. And if it is your first time of watching my video, subscribe to my channel for exciting videos. We move on. From what we are given, solution given to solve x raised to x equal to 3 raised to x plus 243. I will start with the law of indices. That gives us that x raised to power x or x raised to power a plus b is equal to x raised to power a multiplied by x raised to power b. This is a very nice law in indices. So we we'll apply this as it is here by the left hand side in the law. That is how it is given to us. So we are now going to write it the way it is by the right in the law. Splitting by the right hand side, I have x raised to x equal to 3 raised to power x multiplied by 3 raised to power 2, 4, 3. This is good. We have now applied this multiplication law of indices to the right hand side of the given question. The next we do is to um, divide both sides by 3 to the power x and the reason for that is so that we can get rid of x by the right hand side and then move x to the left hand side in order to find what the value of x should be and that means I shall now have x to power x divided by 3 to power x equal to 3 to power x multiplied by 3 to power 2, 4, 3, divided by 3 to power x. Very good. We now move to this side, and if you look at the right-hand side of this last uh, step, you can agree with me that, uh, as we see, x to the power 3 to the power x at the numerator, and also 3 to the power x at the denominator, both of them can cancel. And that will leave us with x. Okay, let us look at this uh, left hand side. I have x to power x all over 3 to power x. And we have a law of indices that says if we are given a to power x all over b to power x, that what we should do according to this law of indices is write it as a over b all to the power of x since the basis the power of the base is equal both at the numerator and at the denominator I repeat myself here the power of the numerator is the same value with the power of the denominator therefore since the powers are the same for both the numerator and the denominator we use the power as one common power. And that implies that what I am given here will now be written as x all over 3. Then I use one common power, which is power x. Beautiful. So writing that, I will now have by the left hand side x all over 3 to the power of x equal to what I have left by the uh, right hand side, which is 3 to the power of 2, 4, 3. Very good. We have gotten both sides right. The left hand side is now organized to one common power x and the right hand side has no x any longer. We move on. Now, looking at the way things are now, let us divide the exponents by 3. In other words, I will multiply the exponents by 1 over 3. That means that I will now have x all over 3 
to the power of x now multiply it by 1 all over 3 and to the right hand side I will do the same which is 3 to the power of 2, 4, 3 multiply by 1 all over 3 that is where we are moving forward this is now going to be for me from the left hand side I will have it written x all over 3 all to the power of of course x multiplied by 1 over 3 is equal to x over 3 so I have by the left x all over 3 and by the right hand side I have 2, 4, 3 divided by 3 that is 2, 4, 3 multiplied by 3 and that is going to give me 3 into 24 is 8 and into 3 is 1 I will now have 3 to the power of 8, 1 very good we keep on moving now I want to work by this right hand side of the equation where we are now and looking at it my interest is to make the base to be equal to the power I want the base and the power to be the same why because from the left hand side the base and the power are the same I have the base as x all over 3 and I also have the power as x all over 3 if I can get the same thing by the right hand side having the base to be the same value with the power then I am good to go I can now apply a law of in indices that will now give us the final value of x mass is 5 therefore to do that see with me that uh, 81 is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 27 because if I have 2 7 by 3 this is 21 and this is a 6 plus 2 which is 81 beautiful therefore I can now write my 81 as 3 multiplied by 27 doing that I will have we we'll put it up this way okay I will have x all over 3 to the power of x all over 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 then multiply by 27 very good 3 multiply by 27 is 81 from here but I can decide to put this in brackets like this since 2 or uh, a to the power of b or uh, to the power of x multiplied by y it is certain as a to the power of x into the bracket y and it is equal to also a to the power of x y beautiful what I have done, 3 is multiplying 27. It can be written this way a to the power of x multiplied by y, or a to the power of x, or in bracket multiplied by y. Can also be written as a to the power of xy. All of them are the same by law of indices. That is the power function of indices, the exponent law. Doing that, also see with me that from the bracket that 3 to the power 3 then to the power 27 that this 3 alone in the bracket is the same thing as 27 that is this is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 3 to power 3 so it is the same thing as 27 then to power 27 my interest is to make the base and the power to be equal and I have achieved that I can now write that x all over 3 then to the power of x all over 3 is now equal to 3 to the power 3 now is gotten here to be 27 then to the power of 27 very good we put it this way and it is answer all right you know mass is life 
what we do next is to apply a law in indices that says that if I am given n to the power of m equal to m to the power of m, the base and the power are the same. By the left, the base and the power are the same. When it is like that, the basis automatically becomes equal. The basis now becomes equal. n becomes equal to m. That is something I will now do here because my n is x over 3. And the power of it is m, which is also x all over 3. And my m is 27. The power also is 27. We conclude that x, which is the base, over 3, is equal to the base by the right, which is 27. x now, over 3, is equal to 27. And if you like, you say that the power also, which is x over 3, is still equal to 27. By this, we write x all over 3 equal to 27. You can say 27 over 1 so that we can do cross multiplication. 1 times x is x and then 3 times 27 is 81. Final answer for the value of x. Okay? Then, now that we have gotten the value of x and that is what simply the question required us to solve. We have solved it but we want to authenticate our answer. We want to ensure that our answer is correct. How do we do that? We want to come into the question that is given to us and replace this value of x in the position of x to see if the right hand side and the left hand side will be exactly the same. And when they are the same, then the quality becomes very correct. Doing that, we say check result. We want to check the result, that is the answer we got. We want to put it inside the question to see if it is correct. And the question has given to us that x to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 2, 4, 3. And we now replace the value of x, that is substitution. And doing that, I will have x equal to 81. So, 81 to the power of 81. Is it the same thing by the right hand side, which is 3 to the power of 81, then plus 2, 4, 3. We move on. Mass is life. Then, if I add 81 and the 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, plus 81, this is 4, this is 12, and this is 3. So, I will now have 81 to the power of 81, and by the right is 3 equal to 3, 24. Good. That is where we are now. Remember, we want to see the left hand side exactly equal to the right hand side. When they are the same, the value of x equal to 81 is correct. Alright. Now, how do we manipulate 3 to the power of 2, 3, 2, 4 to become 81 to the power of 81? We go in. That's 3, 2, 4. See with me that I can divide 3. Okay, let's put it down. Okay. Can divide 3, 2, 4 by 4. Let's try it. Very good. This can divide. You can agree with me that 4 divide 8, 32 is 8, and 4 divide 4 is 1. What it means is that I can now write 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by 81. That means that 4 times 81 is equal to 342. And by the left, it is still 81 to the power of 81. But then, look at what we did here when we got to this point. When we expressed our 81 as 3 multiplied by 27, we put it in bracket. So, nothing is wrong if I put it in this bracket. We have explained what the law does there. That it, it is still multiplication, the exponent still multiplies. Therefore, if I also have inside the bracket evaluated, 3 to the power of 4 means 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. 4 times this is 9, this is 9, and 9 times 9 is 81. Beautiful. So inside the bracket, I will now have 81 to the power of 81 is equal to inside the bracket, which is equal to 81, and then the power 81. Authenticating the answer that we got for the value of x. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. 
we now conclude that the value of x in the given question, which we are asked to find, is equal to 81. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I remain to talk to so Sokoli. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like my videos. God bless you.